so of course we are here at Sonosphere Festival um, and you guys are fresh off stage. Uh, how was that? Unreal, uh, really good, you know. Uh, we've had a few months off, so today was our third show in like a few months. Uh, so it's, we've just been playing that, uh, you know, that match fit game, trying to get fit on the last few shows. But uh, today was amazing, you know. It's an honour to play this festival with all the great bands that have played this in the past and, and have, you know, just a great crowd that we, that we had. It was just, you know, it's nothing better, better feeling than getting up there and playing in front of them. <laughs> Fantastic. And I think the last time I saw you guys live was Download a couple of, like, whenever you last played Download, I lose track as to which, <laughs> which year. year. This is. Yeah, was it only year. last year? Yeah, oh, yeah. wow. A lot's happened in the last year. <laughs> it has. But, I mean, your shows are always so unbelievably, like, high energy. Um, I mean, do you, do you find it a struggle, um, kind of, when you, when you start touring lots to, to keep that level of intensity up all night? Or as soon as you hit the stage, you basically just all go? Well, yeah, like, you know, just, as I was saying before, you know, just, you just get it, you get pretty unfit when you haven't been doing that. And yeah. we try to stay fit, like, go for runs and things, you know, oh, leading yeah. up to a tour and on days off, just try to keep your fit, your cardio fitness up. But, um, nothing gets you, you know, there's no, you, you don't really get fit until you get into the thick of touring and playing shows. And once you get a bunch of shows behind you, you, you know, you, you kind of, you match fit. But it, it's different because, like, the end of last year, we did a headline tour of, you know, which was clubs. So the stages are a lot smaller than what a, a sonosphere stage is, so the runs are a lot longer. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And was there any stage climbing today? There was, oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, no, nah, Joel, Joel found some monkey bars to climb up there at <laughs> one stage, and, and luckily they didn't shut us down, so... Yeah, I mean, was it was it last year or was that a couple of years ago at Download that you guys got shut down for that? That was a couple of years That's ago at Download, yeah. That was 2011 or 10, might have been 10, actually. It was wow. one of them, yeah. Wow. Uh, but it was good, you know, it turned out, at the time it was pretty shitty having yeah. been shut down like that on stage, but it, it really added to just the, the you know, the, the energy of the show when people, really got people going. And yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, does that happen a lot? Do you get a lot of people kind of trying to shut the power off and trying to stop you doing that kind of thing? Oh, look, not really, like, certain festivals are really, really strict on it, and, you know, and obviously we're notorious for doing it, so some sometimes <laughs> sometimes we try to get told like you know we've had uh, we did one festival a few years ago we had uh, like the whoever was in charge of like the stage had a, the police come up and just kind of surround us and go you're not climbing today otherwise you're going to get fined or locked up so well seriously like, yeah so it's like okay i guess we're not climbing today because wow. we will get in trouble so <laughs> wow. i mean surely people realize this, that this is what you do when they book you and they kind of expect that from you i mean <laughs> yeah it's just a bit of a spontaneous thing i think you know like it's um, like we couldn't do it at Download last year because they obviously put like a you know a guard around the truss to stop you from going up. You know, it's like one of those possum guards to stop a possum going up the tree. <laughs> but um, yeah, wow. so yeah, it's it's just something like you know if he can't climb, he'll just go out in the crowd and do something else. And yeah. and I think I mean the fans, you know, they really really do adore the kind of energy that you guys give off on stage. And I think that's always been like it's been the kind of killer part of every every show that you do. Um, I mean, do you find that doing that kind of thing it really gets people interacting with you a lot more because they feel more involved, or do you do it because you think it puts on more of a show, or a bit of both? I think so. We, we like to really you know getting get in contact with the crowd on stage, and you know just especially with Joel with his speeches. You know, like today he was gave a cheers to Rick Mail and you know little things like that that just kind of yeah. brings you down to earth with the crowd and really I think it's 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 good I mean I like that when I watch a band when the singer talks to the crowd and kind of just you know you're not you're not up there with your sunnies on being all kind of like you know I'm a rock star and stuff it's like being down to earth and getting in touch with the people you know it's just kind of it is important I reckon. Fantastic. and I think the last time you guys toured the UK was December last year um, or rather at the end of last year anyway yep. and it was an absolutely fantastic tour um, I mean do you guys find that every time you come back to the UK the audiences are growing and growing and growing yeah I think so um, yeah that, you know last year it was it has grown you know a little bit more every time we come back and um, especially at the festivals like today you know it was just and download last year was pretty epic as well on that second stage we had a huge crowd that fanned out kind of a fair space so that was unreal to see you know because we had a bit of a gap between the last uh, between No Guts No Glory and this third album so we kind of didn't know what to expect when we got out on the road last year but the crowds had just grown even more so I, I guess starved them that little bit longer <laughs> for the album. <laughs> Make them want that little bit yeah, more yeah, yeah. treat them mean <laughs> but that's brilliant and of course Black Dog Barking was out um, and like the reviews were fantastic again I mean everybody seemed to really really enjoy it were you happy with the kind of reaction that you had from it? 
I think so, yeah. Um, well, like you said, you know, a lot of the reviews were actually hit the nail on the head with exactly what we were shooting for when making the album. You know, we wanted to try and just go in and just make a, you know, just a rock album, you know, like, kind of like what Run and Wild was, you know, just, just, you know, just a 10, 11 track rocker, no bullshit. <laughs> and, um, and that's what we, you know, we achieved. And, and, and then we heard that back in the reviews and... So it was a success, I guess. Yeah. I'm really glad. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Um, it has been an absolute pleasure. And I'm sure that we're going to see you at some point very soon.